This is Australia's latest camper trailer. But if it looks familiar to you, it should be because this design has been around in Australia since the late 1970s, early 80s. And several different manufacturers have had a go at building it in different forms. But this new age Wayfinder has one particular difference that separates it from the others and makes it worth considering. And that's this little plaque that's near the door which says Walkinshaw designed and engineered and Walkinshaw is a majority shareholder in New Age. New Age has launched the Wayfinder in two models. This is the 12 foot family version, which comes as standard with leaf springs, a Luca Bond cladding, aluminium cladding over a timber framework. Now ours also has the comfort pack and uh, you get this wrap door coating around the lower sides to protect the panels from stone chipping. The uh, Walkinshaw automotive touches are evident all around this Wayfinder. Uh, these sturdy poles that hold the bed ends up and they're unique little uh, rose jointed attachments and clips, uh, recessed spare wheel, the uh, automotive style tail lights, uh, even the decor, very, very smart, very on trend. The Wayfinder has all the ingredients for great family living in, in the bush or in a caravan park. Lots of space inside, two big beds at either end, family at one, kids at the other, Loads of bench space, more than you'll find in most luxury caravans and uh, modern surfaces. Two dining areas, this U-shaped lounge and a separate dinette there. Microwave, fridge, flush fit cupboards, modern door furniture and heaps of headroom. And it's the perfect transition for many people from a canvas tent to a caravan. So here we have the Wayfinder. It's a new model, but for people familiar with camper trails, it, it looks very familiar. But with New Age behind it, one of Australia's largest caravan manufacturers, and the expertise of the Walkinshaw Automotive Group refining all those things that have been built in the campers over the years, this has a very promising start. I think it's going to attract a lot of interest, even at the premium price.